today's segment is about haggling. Do you get haggled? Are you a haggler? Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. Today's topic is why is it that people like to haggle your prices? What is haggling, you may ask? Haggling is to bargain in a petty manner. Haggling is to bargain in a petty manner. Example, can you do it for $50? The other stylist charged me. Let me get a deal. You can't do it for, or can I get a discount? Like, come on, people. That's very insulting, especially when it comes from the people that's close to you. But it's a slap in the face when it's like a fellow entrepreneur or a business owner haggling your price. Like, come on, you know what time it is. Business is business. Family and friends, y'all already getting the deal out the gate. So why is you haggling the price? On the other hand, now if you ain't got it, you let it be known ahead of time and then arrangements will be made for whatever that it is that you have and you're bringing to the table. But you're not going to wait till you're getting the service of the product to say, hey, this is all I have. Then when the people closest to you haggle your price, if you're not a strong-minded person who believe in your craft, you'll be very disencouraged. I want to let all the beauty pros, hairstylists, braiders, barbers, nail techs, estheticians, lash techs, everybody in the beauty industry, any entrepreneurs, any business owners, I want to let you know that your craft is worth every dime and then some period craft is worth every dime plus more for 2020 we only dealing with people that can afford our services nothing personal it's just business haggling people stop being petty stop trying to bargain their price this is not the swap shop if you want to bargain go to the swap meet if that's your cousin pay her price if that's your uncle, pay his price. If that's your sister, pay her price. Even if she give you a discount, tip her. Show her that she's appreciated. Or show the person that their work is worth it. Stop haggling people. It's not appreciated at all. Stop haggling. You can't go to Walmart and haggle. You can't go to Publix and haggle. Y'all don't be going to the mall and haggling. So stop haggling an entrepreneur or somebody that is a self-contractor or an independent contractor, I should say, and out here getting it on their own. Don't do that. Pay the price. Because nine times out of 10, they not even charge you what they're actually worth. Stop haggling. It's already hurtful when you get haggled by, you know, someone close to you, like family, close friends, and things like that. Because it's like, when you meet a stranger, and you tell a stranger, hey, this is what I charge. They pay it and they tip you. And then these close people, on the other hand, it's like, they don't want to see you come up. Not to say it like that, not to take it in those depths, but that's how it comes off sometimes. Because when it's time for them to pay their other prices or pay for what they want, they do so. But then when they come to you, they need a deal. No. You can't go in Walmart and get your nails done and get a deal. So why do you want to go to your home, girl, and get a deal when you get your nails done? That's not fair. How fair is that? 